This video summarizes one of the Pedro Top 20 trials. The trial was led by Olson. It is a cluster randomized trial that investigated the effectiveness of exercise to prevent knee and ankle injuries in young people playing sport. The incidence of knee and ankle injuries is high among young people playing pivoting sports like football, basketball and handball. This highlights the importance of prevention. At the time of this study, there were no high quality randomized trials to inform injury prevention strategies. The primary aim of this study was to estimate the effect of a structured program of warm-up exercises compared to no intervention for reducing the risk of acute knee or ankle injuries in adolescent handball players. Handball clubs in the 16 and 17 year division in Norway were invited to participate in the trial. Players were included if they did not have a major injury at the start of the season. 123 clubs agreed to participate and were randomised to an intervention and control group. Allocation was concealed. 62 clubs, including 958 players, were allocated to the intervention group and 61 clubs of 879 players were allocated to the control group. Clubs in the intervention group performed a warm-up program that included four types of exercise jogging in different directions, landing, planting and pivoting, balance and strength and power exercises. The aim of the program was to increase athletes' awareness and control of the position of their legs during standing, running, cutting, jumping and landing. Coaches implemented the program at the beginning of the first 15 training sessions and then once a week for the remainder of the season. Clubs in the control group were asked to train as usual. The primary outcome was acute knee or ankle injury during the season. Injury data was recorded by physiotherapists blind to group allocation. Analysis were by intention to treat. 46 players or 4.8% in the intervention group and 76 players or 8.6% in the control group had acute knee or ankle injuries. This equates to a relative risk of 0.53 or a 47% reduction in the risk of developing a knee or ankle injury during the season in the intervention group compared to the control group. This estimate comes with some uncertainty. The effect could be as large as 0.35 or as small as 0.81. The 95% confidence interval includes the minimally clinically important difference set by the trialists of 0.5. Another way to express these results is using the number needed to treat. On average, 26 players would need to complete this warm-up program for the season to prevent one player from sustaining an acute knee or ankle injury. A structured warm-up should be implemented routinely for young people playing handball. It seems reasonable to assume that the prevention program tested in this trial could be adapted to reduce the risk of knee and ankle injuries in similar sports.